Hey guys, I'm Dasha. Today we'll learn to add and subtract fractions with the same denominator. We'll go through eight examples. Let's start with these five. How do we work with fractions? We have a numerator and a denominator. If the denominator is the same, like 12, 14, 16, it's easy. We don't need to find a common denominator, just draw a line and write 12 below. Nothing else needed for the denominator, but we work on the numerator. In the numerator, we write the first number, then the sign, like plus 7 for addition. What's 5 plus 7? Hmm, interesting. It's 12. 12 over 12. What does that equal? 1. Right? So you've not just added fractions, but simplified too. The next example involves subtraction. Draw the horizontal line the same way. We have a simple fraction. What do we do first? First, let's write the denominator. It's 14. That's it for the denominator. Now the numerator is 9. Here we have subtraction. Don't forget the minus sign. And the second number. What's 9 minus 2? 7 fourteenths. I think we can simplify this. What's 7 fourteenths? How many 7's in 14? There are 2. So it's just half, right? That means 1 half. We divide 7 by 7, get 1. And 14 by 7, get 2. So we end up with 1 half. Now let's look at integers. Integers are separate, so to speak. We can add them easily one by one. It's like this fraction, 3 plus 5 sixths plus 1 plus 3 sixteenths. We can add these together. Oh, 16 here. So they can be combined easily, right? But we're not going to do that here. We know 3 plus 1 equals what? 4. And now we have a fraction. What's our denominator? 16. Draw a long line, write 16 below and 5 plus 3 above. 5 plus 3. What's 5 plus 3? Eight, 8 sixteenths. Oh, this seems familiar. I think we've seen this before. If we divide 16 by 8, what do we get? 2. And here it'll be 1, right? 8 divided by 8 is 1. 4 and 1 half. Next example. Just as we add integers, we can subtract them too. 7 minus 6 equals what? Simply 1. Draw a line, write 23 below, right? 23, simple. But above we need to be careful with signs. We have positive 6, that's correct. Then we have minus minus 2. Be careful, okay? One whole. 6 minus 2, what's that? 4 twenty-thirds. 1 and 4 twenty-thirds. Here's another interesting example. We'll simplify a bit. 2. 2 fifteenths plus 8 fifteenths. No whole numbers here. So we write 15 as the denominator right away. Great. 2. What's the sign? Plus 8. 2 plus 8. Super easy. You know it's 10 fifteenths. What number divides both 10 and 15 to simplify it the most? 5. We all want a good grade, don't we? Divide by 10 divided by 5. What's that? 2. And fifth, uh, 15 divided by 5. What's that? 3. 2. 2 thirds. Awesome. Only 3 problems left. Let's solve them quickly. 
we have 20 21st minus 6 21st. What's the denominator? 21. Great job. Now the numerator, 20. Which sign? Minus, minus 6. 20 minus 6. What's our result? 14 over 21. How can we simplify this fraction? By 7. 14 divided by 7. What's that? 2. 21 divided by 7. What's that? 3. So we get 2 thirds. That's a nice fraction. I get it now. Next is 5 sixteenths plus 3 sixteenths. 16 as denominator. We always start with the denominator. Now 5 plus 3. Five plus three. Quick math. Eight divided by sixteen. Eight sixteenths. Hmm. What can sixteen be divided by to simplify it? By two? You can divide by two, but it won't simplify as much, right? Let's divide by eight. Eight divided by eight is one. Sixteen divided by eight is two. Excellent. Now 13 18 the last example. The final stretch, 13 18 minus 7 18 The denominator is 18 and the numerator is 13 minus 7. Yes, minus, don't forget it's minus, not plus. 13 minus 7, what does that equal? 6, 6 18 what can 18 and 6 be divided by to simplify? By 6, of course, by 6. We divide 6 by 6. What does that equal? Well, the familiar one. And 18 divided by 6, what's that in arithmetic? Well, 3, 1 third. Guys, please give this a like because it's your like. You solved 8 examples. Well done. I wish you success in your studies. If you're in sixth grade and need to practice fractions, check out the playlists on this channel. There are videos for sixth grade math with fractions, both common and decimal. All the best to everyone. Bye-bye.